The network is a common source of app performance issues, and the totally special vantage point of the user's device looking into the data center can uniquely identify network issues that are otherwise very difficult and in some cases impossible to detect and resolve. Let's take a look at remote display latency, for example. High remote display latency between the actual users on their remote devices and the virtual desktops in the data center is one of the major contributors to poor user experience in VDI and Citrix environments. The solid line on this chart shows the average ICA exper latency experienced for each user in the defined group of selected at locations. And it's between 0 0.1 to 0 0.25 seconds, while the shaded area represents the latency variance, which at times reaches as high as 0.35 seconds, resulting in sluggish keyboard and screen response time. Not pleasant. Note the high ICA latency spike experienced by users in Washington and Massachusetts. This data is used for both reporting and dashboards like you see now, as well as for real-time incident detection like we demonstrated earlier. And for our last demo segment, Ravi, let's see how IT can use Eternity to troubleshoot a performance issue in real time. Our endpoint search enables us to search for physical desktops, virtual desktops, mobile devices, Citrix servers, and hypervisors. Ravi, let's find user Roger and then drill down into his endpoint dashboard. The first thing we glean from Roger's dashboard is that he's using a physical desktop. We also see that Roger is using about a half a dozen applications and having some major issues with Outlook. Drilling down into the host resources helps us identify whether host resource consumption is responsible for the poor Outlook performance Roger is experiencing. Eternity automatically identifies and presents the most deviating host resources first and shows us that CPU usage of Roger is very high while available memory is low. Clicking on the memory spike, the top process list below gets filtered accordingly and we see that the search indexer process is causing the high memory consumption and that weather bug is the cause for the high CPU. Problem solved. 